All right, Fiesta Food Fun. We're gearing up for the big party countdown with some Niosa fat bread. And float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. We're boxing. <laughs> At least I'm going to try to box. <laughs> it's a pro. That's coming up. <laughs> and from basketball to classical music, Pau Gasol shares more on his love for the arts and how he's helping the San Antonio Symphony. Live from Market Square in downtown San Antonio, this is SA Live. I think a lot of folks from the uh, Final Four weekend decided oh, yeah. to head back up north where it's a lot colder. But it's about to start to get crowded here again because Fiesta yes. is, what, 16 days away now, yeah, it, right? It starts, Fiesta, take Fiesta starts on that Thursday. Oh, yeah, and we love to party here in San Antonio, and especially here in Market Square. Because, look at this. I mean, we love our job. <laughs> we love our job. <laughs> look at this food. Oh, my goodness. All you of this can't think about Fiesta at, without the, the parties margarita. and the food. Can I, this is in my hand. Can I just take a bite, please? Yes, yes, you, you can. Okay. Yes, you can. And of course, Gerardo Carval joins us. You are the man behind this amazing spread of food. What is he sampling right there? Hey, he's got the fajita taco there, which is very popular during Fiesta. This is the perfect cure for the Final Four hangover right there. <laughs> it's going to help mop up all that alcohol, right? That's right. It's just... A it's just, it's just wonderful. <laughs> and the marinade on that is so, so good. We take a lot of care. It's marinade overnight, and we grill it to perfection before we chop it into a taco. Yes, and perfection, <laughs> the operative word. All right, so let's walk everybody around the table oh, here. We have the sausage taco, which is very popular also during Fiesta. Mm -hmm. You know, the gordita, which is right here in the middle. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is excellent. Not, nothing speaks uh, more Fiesta than the gordita. Right. So, and then we have the puffy tacos, which are excellent. If you haven't tried those, you got to come in and check them out. They're lighter excellent. Than air. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and we have the flautas. And, of course, we have the guacamole, the pico de gallo, the salsas, the margaritas. You oh, yes. Look you at these colors. You can't have this without, without the margaritas. Now, they're all different flavors, right? Correct. If okay. we start from, from uh, that's the prickly pear. Okay. That's the guava. Okay. That's the blue curacao. Okay. And then we have the mango uh -huh. and the traditional margarita. <laughs> all the colors of the fiesta. It's a vacation week. <laughs> One for every Monday, day. Monday, Tuesday, <laughs> Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Friday, Friday. Uh, Friday. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's start our engines and get ready for Fiesta. I mean, there's going to be so much going on here, oh, right? Absolutely. It's going to be super busy. Come out and visit us. Uh, it's it's going to be a lot of fun. A lot of music, a lot of food. Uh, great family time. Mm -hmm. So come out and see us. All right. Do you want to finish the show and I'm going to do it? <laughs> You're going to eat. I know that's why you started eating mm. over there. Okay. Oh my goodness, this is are you so good. <laughs> and I'm not just saying that because Roro's in here. It's delicious. You are mm, <sighs> wonderful. Oh. And not just for Fiesta, but any time for lunch, dinner, mm -hmm. breakfast. Yes. Just Eat the, and, and, and great happy hours. Oh, here. yes, we're always here. Come in and listen to the trio, the mariachi, great food, great fun, great service, friends. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Everything from La Margarita to Viva Via Taqueria to Mi Tierra, mi tierra. Pico de Gallo. Come right. visit us. Thank you very much, sir. And, of course, come down Thank here you. so you can beat the crowds and get to enjoy some of this delicious food. You know, one of the big events during Fiesta, of course, is Niosa. Niosa. Yeah, yeah, a lot of folks, that is the one event that they just absolutely adore. And you got it? There we go. Yes, the oh. cable was in the oh. way. There you go, Thank my you. dear. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Always hold the door for you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, you're I, I, welcome. Okay, so... With with that, with that right there, okay. Have yes. you ever held the door for someone where you hold it and maybe they don't they don't say thank you? Uh, yes, occasionally that that, that drives will me happen. Crazy when that mm. happens. Or, or what, anytime you do something. But like what's that. worse, not holding the door or not thanking the person holding the door? My initial reaction is mm. equal because they both show a lack of manners, but we were kind of talking about it this morning and probably not saying thank you because not only the door, you haven't initiated right. the action, but then you haven't reacted to the action. You know, every time that if they don't say thank you, I always say, you're welcome. <laughs> and it's just, you know, manners sometimes are, are kind of lacking. So this is, this is mm -hmm. one of those nice little, yeah. you know. 
So we want to know, points. where do you weigh in on this topic? Let us know at SA Live Case Out on Facebook and Twitter, and we'll air some of those later on the in magic words, the show. Please and thank you. Yes. Oscar, guys, remember those. All right. Joining us today, Sharon Hearn, Vice Chairman for A Night in Old San Antonio, or more affectionately known as mm. what you see right there. Niosa. That's Niosa. right. <laughs> How many people are usually at Niosa on one given evening? You know, we have approximately 85,000 come through the gate. For, for, uh, for five, for the four days. And these wow. people are ready to party. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and for people that don't know about Niosa, I mean, it's just, it's this this huge party packed into one little block and it kind of around the world almost, It right? is, it represents all the cultures. And I mean, we have 15 areas. We have over 200 booths of uh, food, atmosphere, bands are playing. Uh, we have just, anywhere you go, you walk into a different culture, French Quarter, you, you know, can hey travel Mark, the world it, in a city block. You can. You can. You can. All right. One of the specialties or, or an item known for Niosa, uh -huh. or that Niosa is known for, I should say, is the fat bread. Fat bread. It's in Main Street. It's been there for as long as I can remember. And it's just something that you put a little butter in this pan here. Okay. Mm -hmm. We're going to add a little garlic. Okay. Not, so we're going to saute the garlic saute in the pan Saute garlic okay. and the mushrooms in there. All righty. Let's get this going. Let me turn the pan up. Yes. How many? Like a, a little spoonful? Bit. There we go. Uh -huh. Sure. Okay. Are you a mushroom okay. fan? You want a little more? Yeah, just saute that. Okay. Okay. And then we're going to put it on the, we have already prepared English muffins. Mm hmm And uh, we'll put that on there. And then after you do, we'll put a little mozzarella on top of it. Mm -hmm. And um, we can put it in here if the mozzarella doesn't heat on there. <laughs> Okay, okay, so, so we, we put it in here to make it kind of a gooey right. type type sandwich. All right, we will do this and pretend that that has been done. And you know, one thing we didn't saute too long because you saute garlic too long and it right. gets bitter. So we that didn't does. Want to, we didn't want to do that. So right. now, Niosa is of course a four night event. Four night event. Okay. From April twenty fourth through the twenty seventh, mm -hmm. uh, the gates open at five thirty. They close at 10.30. Also, remember, the drinking stops at 10. Uh, That's it. Last call. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here, right? Right. <laughs> right. And um, the, the, you, the admission is $15 for adults, and then uh, any children 12 and under, as long as they're with their parents, are free. Now, with the thousands upon thousands of people expected to be at Nyoso over this four days, is there a way to avoid lines this year? Well, we have an e-ticket this year. And oh. you can get that on your phone, and um, you go to www.niosa.org and go through that uh, for, through our website. And then um, we have a special line for people with the e-tickets, and they can show that on their phone. Okay. So it's a really nice little thing we've so added. So is, is it an app or just a kind of a, a download or Well, if or you something? go down uh, to our, our website, I think that there is a, you'll pull down on, okay. There's a lot of pull downs there that you uh, and we'll find it. Okay, for tickets like, under tickets. Okay, all right. Under tickets. And uh, then also the the other tradition with Niosa is the Rain Rock. Oh well, yes, we got the <laughs> Rain Rock. It's going to be on Tuesday, and we're you know the day for the day of, and we big celebration that day. So it's it's going to be great. Okay. Usually, you know, sometimes when we don't have rain, everybody's like, oh no no, don't hang the Rain Rock this year. But you gotta have. We have to rain. have you the Rain it. Rock. <laughs> Okay, and that's been going on forever. It has. It's a tradition. So, you know, it's something you have to hang, yeah. whether it rains, rains or, or not. not. <laughs> what particular booth at Niosa do you head for first as far as the food and anything else? Anacuchos. What is it? Anacuchos. Anacuchos. Okay. Uh-huh. I'm filing that away. Okay. It's very good. It's uh, meat on a stick, and it's um, marinated, and it has a little jalapeno marinade on it, and then they cook it. In it's just Ooh. delicious. It's don't, just delicious. Don't mind if I do. Okay, uh -huh. while those are still uh, broiling over there, uh -huh. don't forget Niosa is the Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, uh -huh. and Friday, April 24th through the 27th, and 5.30 to 10.30. Gate tickets are $15, and of course, go to niosa.org, and you can get the e-ticket, just like Disney World used to have way back when, the e-ticket for the good rides. Oh. And I also, yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, it's a try it Tuesday, so we decided to go send Mike to be a human punching bag. You know, <laughs> certain things you don't want to do in life, and that's get in the ring with a professional boxer, because <laughs> they know what they're doing, and, and I don't, as you'll see from this. But uh, going through a little bit of the training that this gentleman went through, take a look. <laughs> 
right, try it Tuesday. Got the gloves on. Going to go a couple of rounds. See what it's like to be a boxer and go up against this guy. Steven Ramos, he calls himself the Lumberjack. He's a pro boxer. Let's do it, Mike. What am I thinking? Really? That's right. Ready? Okay. Oh, I didn't see that. Okay, wait, let me get the towel off my head. Here we go. Okay. Right. Ah. Ah. Wasn't that your Taekwondo segment? Yeah, a couple weeks ago. Oh. You see it? Yeah. You watched the show. Yeah. yeah. Hey, thanks, man. I appreciate that. Oh, big fan. Oh, good. You like cooking segments? I love it. Rock, you gotta hit him. You're a bum. Yeah. Get in there and hit him hard. Come on, hit him in the body. You can do it. Come on. Way back, yeah. <laughs> Okay, gotta worry. I want him now on the ropes here. And the knockout punch. Oh, yeah, come on, go for the body. You can do it. Use your combinations, Rock. You can do it. Come on. Come on, you're a bum. Go ahead, Yeah. Where it starts? Yep, this is part of the training. It's not all fun and games. Okay. But it is. Show off. Hey, not bad. All right, all right. To be a boxer, what does it take? Consistency, discipline, you gotta enjoy it. How's that? Perfect. And you said this is like another job, basically. Oh, absolutely. This is the majority of my day. This, I mean, training, training, mm -hmm. and then I go to work to pay the bills. Okay. But so what, what's your other job? I'm a painter. So it's this, and then go there, and then sleep, and then six yeah. days a week doing this, right? Yep. Repeat, repeat. Wake up, gym, go to work, go to sleep. And you said yeah. you haven't been boxing all that long, though, right? No, no, I haven't. I'm old as far as boxing goes. Okay. But. What's your record? I'm 2-0 oh with two knockouts, uh, soon to be 3-0 and oh with three. There's that oh, boxer confidence way. That, that's part I'll of the whole thing. Going. Oh, yeah. So 90% oh, of it is just like, I'm going to do it. I'm, I'm going to do it. So. Oh, mental, yeah. The Lumberjack, where did yes. that come from? The Lumberjack, you know, I had a huge beard when I started, so I looked like it. And then on top of that, uh, chop. I chop people down. I was going to say, you got an axe and a chainsaw, something like that, or is it just all axes? Right yeah. those, are, those are your axes, right? These are my tools. The lumberjack, yes, so yes, you're going to chop them down. What, what would be a good one for me as I get into this? So. I like the silver fox. You like the silver fox? I like the quick, sly, slick. Quick, yeah. quick, sly, and slick. Yeah, okay. I like that. Okay, quick, sly, and slick. Theme. The silver go. fox. <laughs> One of the most important things about, well, actually leading up to it, Match, is the, the way in, the stare down. How do you practice for that, Stephen? I would say the first fight is the scale, the way in. Okay. After that, uh... I mean, you're, you're this close. What if you laugh? And it's going to wreck the whole thing, right? It could. It could. Yeah. But you don't. You know, like, Fiona has a side. She likes to be on that side. Do you ever have a side and you got to switch sides or something like that? And you go, wait a minute, I look, I look better. Do you ever you know, do this with a boxing? I look better and this, this is my good side? The first fight, yes. Absolutely. You, do you do? I'll okay. switch sides. Yeah. You do? Okay. Actually, this is my good side. That is your good side? Yeah. Okay. Uh, envision what you're going to do, how the fight's going to go, how you're going to win. You look through them and you envision what you're going to do. All Victory. Gonna, all I'm thinking about is I'm going to cut the grass I think, this weekend. Taco Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. Uh, taco Tuesday. I'm like that. Okay. I got to win this fight. Okay. I got to go eat some tacos. Stare. <laughs> <laughs> It's like having a stare down. First one to laugh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I won this round. <laughs> Wait a minute. Your shoe's untied. Oh, really? Wait a minute. Where'd Mike go? Chris Ellis has tried Tuesday. Great guy. He's got a. Uh, he's on a, a card uh, coming up on the 21st, and um, this is my side. That's your side. But just <laughs> great ad liver. We had so much fun doing that. And one of the funny things is there was a couple other gentlemen there, and I believe it was the one that was in the background mm -hmm. doing one of the punching bags. Yep. They watched the show and they're fans and all that. Oh, yeah. And what really Hi, surprised me, <laughs> he said, "Hey, are you doing Mother Ginger again?" Oh my gosh! Said, you see, he goes, yeah, I was at the ballet a couple of years ago watching you. So that's the last I mean, thing I expected when going to a, a you know a gym like that. It's to be process. known for Mother Ginger and the Nutcracker. Mother Ginger, so yes. <laughs> but anyway, good luck to Stephen. Appreciate. It. Thank you very much for letting us in there. So I'm glad you're okay.
And I actually did the speed bag a little bit, too. So. <laughs> All right, next on SA Live, from the boxing ring to the basketball court and then to the symphony, David Elder chats with San Antonio Spur Pau Gasol and his passion to keep the San Antonio Symphony alive. And still ahead, fiestify your door or home with some colorful wreaths. We're going to show you the steps to make a spring wreath for your home. to the symphony hall we all know for the san antonio spur pal gasol gasol for his seven foot stature right. but he's also big on supporting the arts yeah paul, paul is pardon me i, I know i, 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 I still have t you know the tacos yes indeed gasol <laughs> bouncing into a new role with the san antonio symphony and he hopes he can help save the arts here in town and david elder got a chance to sit down with him What is your role with the San Antonio Symphony Advisory Board? Well, being uh, supportive. Uh, try to add to the board, try to um, bring attention to the symphony, and um, hopefully make it um, available, more aware to everyone in San Antonio. Was your call to action with the San Antonio Symphony when you found out about the funding crisis that they were experiencing? Yes, when I saw the article, and it was brought to my attention, I was like, oh man, uh, it sucks, first of all, and secondly, let's let's see if we can help help uh, bring it bring it back or, or keep it alive and and actually make it grow. Uh, so um, so that's kind of uh, to me music uh, gives me a, a lot of balance in my life. It gives me peace. It really fulfills a part of me, a side of me that it's important. Do you have any particular opera songs that you like, or any that you know off the top of your head that you wouldn't mind uh, singing for us right now? <laughs> I wouldn't sing it. Per se, <laughs> but I would. Uh, my my first opera is an opera that I watched uh, about four or five times. Uh, it's called Tosca. It was my first one, let's say, my first love uh, in the opera world, and I absolutely love it. Do you listen to that when you practice, or do you know what I mean? Like, don't no, no, I don't listen to it. It's not really my pregame uh, <laughs> tune, per se. But uh, but uh, what I was telling you is, it gives me balance. Did you ever play any instruments uh, growing up or anything? I actually have. Yeah, when I was uh, eight years old, I signed up to play piano and study music so I did five years uh, until basketball started um, I guess getting more importance and uh, I had to dedicate more time and between studying basketball and music I had to give up music at that point and just like later I had to give up studying medicine um, for basketball so basketball has been a great part of my life but but there's also been other interests and music is definitely one of them. Can people expect to see you at the Tobin Center when, for any of these upcoming concerts? I hope so if uh, my schedule allows that's the problem with our, our schedule was always tough. Uh, I went to see my countryman uh, Pablo Sainz Villegas play uh, the Spanish guitar. So a uh, small concert at the Tobin uh, about three, four days ago, and it was great uh, to see him. Great to meet him. I never met him before, but it was a great performance. Just uh, again, it provided me a great, uh, great joy and great peace to, to be there because it was beautiful. And the symphony, I have gone with a staff member to the symphony, and one of the coaches, assistant coaches, uh, Borrego, is always telling me, next time you go. I'm going with you. So there's people that are interested and they want to go. Players sometimes it's a little harder, uh, but I have tried. Uh, it was it was hard. Uh, a lot of times that okay, okay, the, tonight is a night, and and then they didn't show up or they, they come up with an excuse. I'm like, come on, man, you got to dr drag them out there and get them hooked, it's right? Not, it's not that hard. I mean, seriously, it's it's like um, it's, you're gonna like it, I think. <laughs> and if not, you, you know, you go watch a movie the next time. <laughs> I don't know. Well, thank you so much for your involvement with the San Antonio community and the art community, and you know, good luck with the playoff run. I know you guys are going to do great. And just thank you so much for being a part of San Antonio. I love being here. Thank you. So thank much. you. Pleasure. If you want to check out some of the upcoming shows at the San Antonio Symphony, Beethoven's 9th is coming up the weekend of April 13th and 14th. Fiesta Pops is April 20th through the 22nd, and Disney in Concert, Pirates of the Caribbean, is May 11th and 12th. And you can visit sasymphony.org for more information. And thank you very much, Mr. Casal. Tomorrow on SA Live, it's a wild Wednesday, and we'll introduce you to Nora the Wallaby over there at SeaWorld, who will hop right into your hearts.
In case you missed it, this morning's oak allergen count was 17,800 something and Wow, you looking for a way to help uh, combat those allergies? Mm. Get your carpet cleaned. Yeah, I mean, right. 68 clean, right? All uh, right. Dirt six, free carpet cleaning. There you go. Southern President Albie Theode is here. So all of those allergens that are outside are coming in. Every time you open the door, all that good yellow dust is coming in, right? <laughs> that pollen. Well, and hopefully um, we can get on top of that problem for you. When you call 68 clean, same number for 30 years, we come out to your house without soaps, chemical residues, or regular tap water. We've got a super altered water that we fill up our trucks with every day. It cleans like a strong chemical. That water allows us to kill germs, bacteria, sterilize, suck the dirt out to the truck. It really is an amazing system. Go ahead and grow your pattern and keep on going on that. And now this is the hard surface, which, of course, last week's heavy rain, you know, mm -hmm. everything, all that oak stuff, and, and it's the... It, muddy and dust and everything got picked up instead of blowing in and so a lot of the hard surfaces need a good cleaning too I mean, plus after winter right and, and you can't do that travertine that marble that terrazzo friends you want help with that i mean that's why you're you know the honeydew list is like that long and you can dial 68 clean and knock it down to that big that's what you want to do is pick up the phone and give us a shout and safety is paramount i mean when you're calling 210 68 clean when you go to dirtfreecarpet.com you're getting a safe control system. It's the most powerful system in the world for cleaning. It works like you got chemicals everywhere, like you're just blazing away, yet it's safe and so secure for your home to get that so without it's, chemicals. So it's just water. How does it clean? It's just getting blown in there and sucked out? Well, we had to invent okay. our chem free free spot. We know this doesn't leave a residue through laboratory testing. We had to alter the water and continue to build that with softeners and uh, other machinery that acts, makes the water act a little bit like it's got a chemical in it. So that allows us to do some of this cleaning. It's safe, mm -hmm. tastes good, okay. not toxic. <laughs> I mean, it is really the best system you can possibly hire. Now, besides carpeting, because everybody thinks, okay, you track in, you walk on carpeting, that's where it gets dirty and all the allergens, but all of the other fabric, soft fabrics in your home, furniture, drapes, Holds Tapestry. everything, right? Wool, I mean, those wool rugs, aren't you tired of sending those out? We can come out with a $100,000 machine and do them right there in the house for you. It dries it in just a few minutes. It cleans it all the way down to the primary and secondary backing without a chemical. This really is a complete system. We created this for your home. We built this system because we know the other problems that you're tired of. And it's not just the kids coming in and out, but, you know, the pets. And they carry all that stuff and just going to deposit it all over your carpetings. They hop up on the furniture, right? So yes, yes. you can come out, clean carpetings, hard floors, furniture, drapes, yep. the whole, whole kit and caboodle, right? I mean, tile, grout, leather, drapes, upholstery. All of it has a special right now. When you dial 210-68-CLEAN, you're going to get a reduced rate. You're going to get three rooms for only $100, the first 20 callers. And you're going to get a $100 free speed dry. So you're getting a bonus, a low rate, the best technology in the world. Remember, friends, if you're thinking about some other carpet cleaner, look at their machine. Look at their pre-spot. Look at what they're doing for you. Make them start in the worst spot. It, it if looks we like can't do it for you, day. we don't bill you. It's like night and day. Okay, for more <laughs> information on Dirt Free Carpet and for that special going on, call 210-68-CLEAN. That's 210-682-5326. Or you can go online to dirtfreecarpet.com. Thank you for being here, here, sir. Every day, good, just good give seeing us you. a shout. If you you know, nothing is prettier than having a gorgeous wreath on your front door or right as you come into your home. Yes. And especially when it's fiesta time, these are absolutely gorgeous wreaths. And believe it or not, you can make them yourself or order one custom made from Michelle Lopez from one wreath at a time. And Hi. this is, I mean, we see this all the time. This is grapevine, right? Yes. And you can get this at Hobby Lobby, Michael's, any craft store you can find it at. Okay. And all, all of the other goodies as well. Yes. All the goodies as well. Hobby okay. Lobby, Michael's. Yes. What's the trick to making a, a, a good wreath like this? Patience. Okay. <laughs> Patience first. Um, but okay. there really is no trick. You're kind of just taking whatever floral colors you like and just sticking them in there. Um, and when you like your placement, then we're going to go ahead and so, them in. so yeah, let's get started. Some nice little yellow ones in yeah. here, maybe mm -hmm. like this around the well. Yeah, you can make it all the way around, or you can see the sample over here too. It's just kind of half. And I put um, this in here. Yeah, and we're going to go ahead and add some greenery and kind of just. Greenery. So we just go around. And you custom make these, right? Yes, they do. Okay, so if I want. 
um, something like you said, patriotic, or yes. I love this. Bless yes. your heart. And <laughs> if you, uh, if somebody likes certain colors or certain yes. styles of exactly. plastic flowers, exactly. You can do it. Yes, I can no do any any is. design. I can create something just for you. Okay. We have See, just he's going to be a pro at this in no time, guys. But I'm just so. saying, even those few little bits of greenery right there yes. around the bottom of this wreath looks absolutely yes. beautiful. And you can, you know, leave it plain, just a grapevine wreath, or you can go to your craft store and um, find a cute sign and just add that in there to kind of add a, a pop of, you know, this one says welcome, this one says bless your heart, and we have um, a Fiesta Sombrero, and then we have a He's Risen Cross, so just add it in there for an extra touch. This is absolutely... He's having a blast, guys. I know. <laughs> So now you can make one. You can make one for your wife every season holiday. He has no excuses. He knows how to do it, guys. <laughs> and so what we're going to do is, when when you're done and you like your placement of your florals, we're going to go ahead and just add a little bit of hot glue to kind of set it in there so it doesn't. So you, do you do that from the back? Yes. And so um, just for time purposes, I cut them down a little bit shorter. You can buy them in the bushes like this. Um, or oh, and then just you can just snip what you need. Thin, yes. And then you get your wire cutters and you just go ahead and cut the length. Um, if it's sticking out from the back, you just can go ahead and you can go ahead and okay, kind of cut that off. How, how short do I do it? Right. You don't down want it sticking the, out, so you don't so want just it. Yes. Right down to there. Mm -hmm. There you Oops. go. Done. We're safety goggles, folks. Yes. <laughs> don't have anybody looking at that. There we go. All right. So I cut these short, and anywhere you need it, just yes. a little tab mm -hmm. of. We're gonna go. No, the other oh. way. Yes. Whoops. Let's put it down. Oh, there sorry. you go. <laughs> we don't want to do it from the back because we want it to stay in there. We really want it to secure the base. So we're just going to go ahead and add a little bit of oh, hot. I see you do it in there. Yes. Okay. Just so it kind of attaches to the branch itself. And you might want to hold it down for a few seconds just so it stays in. You know, and the other thing I just realized. Yes. You don't have to do the entire wreath. See? That's not bad. See, and it's super easy. You can use any colors you like. If you didn't like the yellow and the coral, you can do purples and pinks. Um, you got some roses, some more greenery. You can put a little I birdie's think, nest in I there. I think this needs to go on the SA Live wall yes. right here. So. <laughs> All over the walls. Hey, Michelle, thank you yes. very much. For more information on One Wreath at a Time, visit SALive.com and click on the As Seen yes. on SA Live tab. Beautiful, beautiful reads. Okay, next on SA Live, one-stop shop from dentistry work to plastic surgery. We're going to take you inside New Image Dentistry to show you what makes them so different. Plus, earlier we asked you... Okay, what's worse? Oh, not holding the door or not saying thank you? Not even close, not saying thank you. When someone holds the door for you is just flat out rude. I personally always grab a door for the ladies and hold it for the gents. Sometimes I'm hurrying and miss it, and I turn and apologize. Night! <laughs> Mama raise your right. Thank you, Aaron. <laughs> I feel more self-confident than I have in years. Complete your new image in one convenient location. From dental work to hair transplants to body contouring, you can get it all done at New Image Dentistry and New Image Plastic Surgery. I'm about to introduce you to the two doctors that make it happen. We're starting with dentistry. Joining me now is Dr. Christopher Holland. This is so much more than just a dentist office. Tell us about everything you offer here. Well, I, the, the thing that we really focus on, Fiona, is personal care. We really get to know the patient as well as we possibly can before we even start, you know, diagnosing or telling them what kind of treatment is. Because each treatment is individual, and we try to customize it for every patient. We do all all dentistry underneath this roof, and we try not to refer out if possible. That's an incredible thing to have it all kind of in one place for you know one stop shopping. Uh, you can really transform someone's teeth. What are some of the cosmetic dentistry services you offer? A lot of the things we do here are um, bleaching and whitening. We do a lot of two, three contouring, but I'd say the biggest thing that we do here are porcelain veneers, where we can actually transform somebody's smile into you know what they've always dreamed of. The biggest thing that I love to do is have a patient come in and be concerned about the way their front teeth look, and that patient leaves here with a complete different disposition. They're happier, they got a better attitude, they're smiling. It's where San Antonio smiles. That's why we like them to come here. So it's not just about the teeth. New Image can help you with that total transformation. Dr. Dallas Homas joins me. And what are some of the procedures that you perform here? Uh, well, Fiona, we work on anything from the uh, top of your head to the bottom of your feet, if need be. But we do certainly offer hair restoration. We have Neograft, which is a very elegant way to restore someone's hairline. 
We have the full array of facial rejuvenation, uh, as well as breast and body contouring. Uh, really, whatever uh, a patient is concerned about, we have the ability to address it. One thing about New Image Dentistry and New Image Plastic Surgery is that you guys do put a lot of importance in doing the right thing for your patient. Absolutely. And you know, one thing that I'm a doctor first, I love establishing that rapport with patients. And if I'm able to help someone transform something that's an area of self-consciousness to an area the, of self-confidence, I just love that. I love what I do, and I love helping patients with that. Okay, Ms. Nicole, for today we're going to go ahead and do Dyspor, which will go ahead and help with the lines and wrinkles on the forehead. Well, there are plenty of success stories here at New Image, but we're going to hear one of those success stories right now now from Nicole Atwood. Thank Hi. you so much for being Thank here. You, you have been to both New Image Dentistry and New Image Plastic right. Surgery uh, for procedures. Mm -hmm. Tell me about your experience. My experience has been amazing. I have new teeth. I came in and I had teeth that were not perfect and not beautiful and I had the chip tooth and it's now fixed and I have this Hollywood smile that I asked for. I wanted new lips because I had no lips and now I have these great big lips which I love and I've had body contouring and I couldn't wear this shirt three months ago, so I'm super thrilled. And the care that we've received here, the aftercare was like, I felt like I was a family member. It's been wonderful. Fiona, we want to thank you so much for coming in today. We'd like to present you with our Fiesta 2018 oh, medal. Oh, thank you. And we have one of those for every new patient that comes in throughout the month of April. As well as if you come into New Image Dentistry and you're a new patient in April, you get custom home whitening as well. For more information on New Image Dentistry, you can call 210-804-1558, that's 804-1558, or go online to new-image-dentistry.com. And for more information on New Image Plastic Surgery, just call 210-640-6310, that's 640-6310, or go online to newimage-plasticsurgery.com. Next on SA Live, preparing for motherhood, how Metro Health can help new moms and moms-to-be with their Healthy Start program. That's coming up right after the break. Well, needless to say, being a new mom can be overwhelming, and there are many, many resources available that can help in a big way, one of those being at Metro Health. And Kobe Eberly is the Healthy Start Program Manager at Metro Health. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. So Metro Health, you always think about, you know, going into restaurants, checking out scores like that and everything, but this that is, too. Yeah. This is for, for new moms and babies. Yes, Metro Health has tons of resources for, for moms and kids. We've got our WIC program that helps out pregnant moms, and we've got um, Baby Cafe that helps bre breastfeeding moms. Mm -hmm. um, and my program, Healthy Start, that we're here to talk about today, um, we have a whole range of services for um, pregnant moms and infants. Okay, so, it, and it goes even from before pregnancy, through pregnancy, and, and afterwards, right? Absolutely. We want to talk about family planning as early as we can with our youth and all the way through um, having the baby and afterwards and in between and all of that. So if somebody wants to get in, involved, how mm -hmm. can they and who qualifies for this? Sure. Well, for Healthy Start, um, you can call us at 207-4725 or go to the Metro Health website or Facebook page. Um, but basically, we have some service areas in San Antonio that have the highest infant death rates and um, those qualify you as long as you're pregnant and you live in that area so you give us a call and we check your address and if you are um, in our service area we can provide in-home case management for you but we got a whole lot of other stuff going on besides the in-home case management too so coming right to your your home oh, yeah that's fantastic yes, okay what are absolutely. some of the other things though well we do some community baby showers we've got a neighborhoods program where we work with our residents to develop projects and um, we've got a, a coalition called Healthy Families Network, so really just a whole range of things that we do. The baby showers, that's yes. not just a figure of speech, that's no. an actual baby shower. It just is like an you actual would get all baby the, shower. All the goodies from diapers to wipes yes. to mm, sippy cups and yes, everything. Yes, a little sample of stuff here, but even up to, you know, um, strollers and pack and play, so you have a safe sleep option, and uh, we do it in a baby shower format, so it's fun, you get goodies, you get to hang out with other people in your community, we do them all around different areas of town. Our next one is um, May 8th 
8, uh, mm -hmm. Mother's Day theme. Um, and we really try to do some education, too. So I, I brought a, a little model here with okay. us. This is my demonstration baby. She's our, she's our shaken baby model. But, um, so that's why she has this clear face. Because we know, you know, crying can be difficult. It, 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 yes. Right? Okay. So, you know, babies can even turn purple. We call it periods of purple crying. You're trying to soothe baby. Baby's right. not getting soothed, right? And, so you get and frustrated. And your stress level keeps going up. In so. the evening, sometimes when we're right. tired, around two to three months old, this happens. You can get frustrated and you can shake baby. And see all these little mm -hmm. lights here? So these are the areas of the brain that just from one shake like that, um, can cause some damage okay. that will developmentally affect the baby forever. A so. lot of different things, educational uh, as well as nutritional, uh, and just kind of maybe some of the advice there that perhaps even young moms yes. wouldn't be able to get, and you all can provide all Absolutely. that, Absolutely, right? okay. either through our in-home case management if you qualify and you're in our service areas, or a community baby shower if you're pregnant. Um, come to one of those. So many things that you wouldn't even think of that they yes. can go through. So for more information on the Healthy Start program, call Metro Health at 210-207-4725. Yes. 4725 or go online to sanantonio.gov slash health. Thank you very much. Thank you. Who are you? Back. All right, earlier we asked you, what's more frustrating, holding the door or not saying thank you? Valerie says, not thanking for opening the door. Mm-hmm. And some women think it's rude if a man does it, as if she couldn't do it herself. No, just say thank you. Yes! Good for men and women. Oh, my goodness.